Hey guys and welcome back to What's Next with Stephanie. Today we're going to be um, trying out a recipe that my son actually seen on YouTube because he's crazy about fried chicken. So we're going to try a crispy chicken um, recipe on the air fryer. So let's get to it. Alright, so here we got uh, seven pieces of chicken. We got some um, drumsticks and some um, thighs. And some of the ingredients that I'm going to be using is an onion powder garlic powder, poultry seasoning, some uh, cumin, some paprika, seasoned salt, we're gonna have some cornstarch, we're gonna need some uh, the all-purpose flour, of course adobo, Sazon and buttermilk. Before I was just looking at, um, looking for it, uh, black pepper, and I'm gonna put some hot sauce on it, just a little bit. So I already moved my chicken. In here, I put uh, two and a half cups of the buttermilk. So right now, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm using the uh, paprika. Actually, I'm going to put all these ingredients in here. But first, so just mix everything up. Oh, yeah. I'm always using just like the main ingredients that I usually use to season my um, chicken. You know, which is the sassons, uh adobo. Alright, so I got six pieces of chicken in here. So you can either um, put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate for um, 24 hours or you can use it right away. So I'm just going to leave it here uh, marinating until I uh, do my other um, mixture, which we're going to be using the all purpose flour. So let's leave this alone. I already mixed it all in. This is my next one. I just put in here um, two cups of all-purpose flour. Right here I have uh, a half a cup of the cornstarch. I'm going to put that in there. Now I'm going to use the adobo. I'm just putting enough. I just kind of eyeball it. This is the garlic powder. We're going right back to everything that we used in there. The only thing that we're adding to this one that we didn't add to this is the adobo and the sazon. So that was the paprika, more of the um, seasoning, got the cumin again, just eyeball it. Since I have like seven pieces, six or seven pieces of the chicken. That's why I want to use enough. Maddie woke up. So I got her behind me. Okay, okay. Oh, can't forget the sazon. For sazon, I'm going to use two. Salt. Oh no. Let's get this meat in there. So like I said, we just let it I just let it marinate in there. Just you can let it marinate for half an hour. I mean, for uh, 24 hours if you want, or you can just use it right away, which that's what uh that's what I did. All right. So now that it's all nice and coated, let's make sure it gets Really nice. I'm just gonna put it straight over here. And um, let's put them in there. They're nice and coated. And it says 20 minutes. Let's put it to a half an hour. And then we'll check it 
and then um, we'll flip it over and see how it is. Um, like I said, I put it for 370. I don't know. I just hit chicken. Just how I did the whole chicken. I just hit chicken, and then I'll go and I'll check it out to see uh, how it looks. See if it's done. I'm gonna take it from there. All right. Let's see you in a little bit. Ooh, but I can smell it. I smell all those seasonings. Um, I put it for 30 minutes. Then I took it out and I flipped it over and I put it for uh, 30 minutes more. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, it said 20, 20 minutes and I just added it. So, <laughs> maybe I put it too long. No, it actually looks super, super crispy. Let's, let's just take them out and then we'll, we'll see. They look like extra well done. Maybe too much flour. So we're going to actually have this chicken with some amarillitos. These are just um, ripe plantains. I just put them in the microwave for four to five minutes and that's it. They're done. Alright. See? So I just put them in there five minutes. See how nice and juicy these are. Ooh, hot. And hot. And hot. Here's my plate for lunch. A little bit of broccoli, some amarillitos, and let's uh let's taste this chicken first. Well, there you have it. Um, well, excuse me. You're good. And you can actually taste all the different spices. That's what I didn't, I didn't know if you were actually going to be able to taste everything. Um, probably so they won't get as crispy. Because, I mean, they, they, uh, Michael really does like it really crispy. But I might, um, just do it for 20 minutes instead of the 30 minutes that I did it for. So we can get the nice, this nice little golden, so we don't get as crispy on the sides. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just uh, for a quick lunch for us. Please don't forget to um, share my video and give me that, uh, if, you, if you do like it, please thumbs up and uh, thank you for all my new subscribers as well and uh, see you in the next one I'm actually gonna be making some uh, patelillos but I'm gonna try them instead of making them in the oven I'm gonna try to make them on this so let me know down in the comments because now with this big thing it's taking my counter space so I want to be able to use this as much as I can so let me know down in the comments any recipes that you have or anything that you have made in the air fryer so I can try it too so I don't just say okay I made I just got this just to make my french fries so I just tried a whole chicken I tried the crispy chicken so give me some recipes so I can um, try them out as well all right thank you and keep safe and have fun with your families and look at this one She's always next to me. Every everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. This one's always next to me. Michael's watching me. And Michael's watching TV. Yeah. <laughs> he is in his to into uh his YouTube channel. So um alright you guys. Bye. See you in the next one. Say thumbs up. Say thumbs up. <laughs> Bye.